Hello, this is Reiko Haro from Anime on Location, and we are here with James Hatton. Hello, how are you? All right, and yourself? I'm doing well. As always, a great time at Metsuri. All right, we haven't seen you since Metsuri 2013. How have things been with you? It's been a busy year. Um, I have a lot going on. It's uh, a lot of creative projects. I've changed a couple things. Um, if anybody watches the whole narrative of how long these guys have been interviewing me, I've, I've gone from project to project and plan to plan, and this past year has been no different. As a matter of fact, it's probably twice as busy. Awesome. <laughs> and another great project you have been part of is Something Something Podcast. How has it been being part of that? Um, I used to do podcasts a while back. I did a pro wrestling podcast, funny enough, called The Ravelcast, and then I got the bug. It's like a bite. It's seriously, you just want to start talking about things, and clearly I hate talking about stuff. <laughs> so I, uh, I bumped into an old friend of mine, and he's a very funny guy, mm -hmm. and I was like, this is it. This is my partner. So we sat down, we figured out a name, the Something Something Cast, as in like, what do you guys talk about? Uh, something Something, whatever. Um, and so we talk about anything we, we love. You know, we've done heist movies, cartoons, comic books, pro wrestling, Halloween. Um, we just did an we did a uh, anniversary, our one year anniversary. We did the Marvel movie universe, and then uh, due to the tragedy, we did a uh, kind of a tribute episode to Robin Williams. So uh -huh. we get to really broad branch on anything that we want to talk about and kind of be irreverent about. Awesome. It's wonderful. And your wife is well known for her acts in burlesque. How is it being part of her performance and being a host? What was what's great is is that we kind of got into that world together. Um, when I met her, I had hosted a bunch of things, and she was a traditional belly dancer. So then when we had the opportunities to start hosting things, rather I started hosting and she started doing performances, it was just a natural fit. She's since kind of taken a step back. She's probably gonna get back into it in the next year. Mm -hmm. um, but she's taken a step back, I'm still hosting. So I think in a, in a relationship where you go, oh, my husband goes and, and talks in front of a bunch of beautiful naked women, some wives might get upset, but thankfully it's, it's just ingrained in our relationship. So it's, it's really nice to have that openness that we can do that. Awesome. Okay, tell us about Choose Your Own Adventure Zombie Apocalypse. Call it Decide Your Fate Project Z. Yeah, we're going with Decide Your Fate because I think Choose Your Own Adventure is copyrighted. But it is... Uh, <laughs> So there's things that I loved when I was a kid. I'm a huge horror buff. I love uh, zombies. I love like serial killers. I love you know Friday the Thirteenth, Nightmare on Elm Street, all of them. I have a huge list of horrible bad movies and horror movies. I also used to love Choose Your Own Adventures, and there was these other kind of Choose Your Own Adventure books. They were called Lone Wolf, and Lone Wolf books were these. They were not just a, uh, a choose your own adventure experience, they were more of a role playing experience where you're the character that's running through and you have to collect items and you have to cast spells. And I wanted to, my thought was, what if we could take a choose your own adventure style book but make it for grown ups? No more is it an adventure where you're, um, you know, trying to get off a mountain or you're trying to not be late for class or you're flying in outer space, these sort of high fantasy. What if we were to ground it in horror reality? Mm -hmm. um, and make it real, just blood and guts, and get a really great artist for it. So I got um, Nick DeFabio, also known as Ghost Free Hood, uh, from MySweetWretch.com. He's a really talented, like this real thick line graffiti style artist who loves drawing gore and ichor, and he's wonderfully bad, like fantastic. Wow. Um, and so now I'm doing a Kickstarter for it, a crowdsourcing for it, on a website called InkShares. Mm -hmm. um, you can find that at DecideYourFate.net. And we have to raise ten thousand dollars, and then I start. And then I finish the book. It's already started. Um, but the better I do, the more roads and paths I let you try and take, and the more disgusting and more fun it gets. So. Oh, awesome! Thank you. <laughs> and are there any upcoming projects that you want your fan to know about? Well, um, as far as In His Likeness is always still going, it's my ongoing baby, I'll never leave it. I'm debuting my new book, Lord of the Bits, which is the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse playing Dungeons and Dragons. Um, so that one's available now. Uh, the next one coming out is going to be, before the end of the year, I'll be finishing my Daedalus story, which is the, this dark story of revenge about Daedalus getting his son Icarus back from hell. Um, but otherwise, please keep checking out the Something Something cast, uh, DecideYourFate.net, and In His Likeness. I think those are, other than hosting, uh, hosting some burlesque on the East Coast with Smoke and Mirrors Peep Show, I'm, I'm pretty golden. Awesome. So is there anything else you would like your fans to know? Or? 
So one of the, my favorite things that I do when I come to um, conventions is I do panels about creativity and uh, writing and doing it. Like, a lot of people, not you back there laughing. I mean writing and creating and whether it's web comics or fiction or a choose your own adventure or a podcast, just try it. There is no reason. We live in, we live in an age where your work is on even keel with everybody else's. The minute you put it on the internet, you have just as a shot as making it as anybody in the universe. So go out there, just bust through that like hump and, and create, because it's the greatest experience in the world. And every year, I'm happy to create more and more. Awesome, it was nice to meet you. It was a pleasure to meet you too. And that's it. See you guys.